I did it all with no cuss words. I didn't have to curse just to keep it real. Yo, the top comment on this is Joyner Lucas saying, yo, imagine writing a song about your celebrity, the person that you idolize, and then getting a remix with that guy, with that person. That is crazy to me, bro. Let's check Let's check this remix out, though, real quick. Yeah, I'm going to stop it right there real quick because I know that, um, well, I don't want to take too much of the content from that video to this, but, man, my reaction, my honest reaction is, yo, that was so dope. The crazy thing is, so Joyner talked about this too. He said that he conceptualized the video before he did the song, which I thought was freaking awesome because that's a mentality that a lot of people need to have in the streaming culture of nowadays, right? So that's number one, is he knew how to do the visuals first before he actually did the song. Then he tailored it within those parameters. He tailored the song uh, to obviously what he wanted to talk about, which is great, especially as a creative. Sometimes you get yourself into a writing rut, and what you need to do is you, you need to limit your options and then create that parameter, parameter for you to create. So that was dope right off the bat. So the original song was super fresh. Then you get Will Smith's reaction, and then you get them on Will Smith's youtube channel and they're talking and like yo that thing that was crazy to me because i i definitely empathize and feel for joiner lucas when he's like yo like i'm out here i'm trying to be a good father i'm trying to be an example to my kids and there uh, honestly like there aren't a lot of people that come from where i come from that have made it um except for somebody like will smith and i i really admire the guy and i want to pay him homage super dope and then on top of that he gets recognized by will smith i've had similar experiences here and there with like certain certain musicians and artists, but nothing com comes close to what jo Joyner is doing right there. And then on top of that, Will Smith gets on the remix. And the cool thing about Will, man, like he said, you know, people thought I was corny, this and that. But, yo, man, I got a great wife. I got great kids. He's got a successful career in acting. Dude kept it real without cursing. He clearly came from, you know, a, a, a crazy background with, you know, being from the streets of, of, of Philadelphia. So, you know, it's super like grimy out there. Yet he always kept it positive. And the thing about my wife and I talk about this all the time. We love Will. We love Will Smith. We love his movies. We love what he stands for. Uh, obviously, you know, there, there are certain things we don't necessarily agree with him, but who agrees with people 100% of the time? But the thing about it is, dude always keeps it moving. He's super positive. And I think he's a great example of what a creative, somebody that is an artist can do by being flexible and mercurial and adapting to different, you know, platforms and different um, venues and be creative that way and still create something that uh, emotes positivity that cons that is constructive rather than destructive to our society even if you come from a harsh background even if you come from you know negative circumstances that you know you, you, don't, you don't let that tear you down you know what i mean so for me as an immigrant for me as a colombian american who, who came from war-torn country who came from the, the 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 land that's infamously known for pablo escobar and all that bs that we don't like to talk about as Colombians, even though people glorify it here in the United States. Like, we don't like that. Frankly, it hurt our people. It hurt our economy. It hurt so many things. And then coming to the States and then, you know, being treated like an outcast, like a migrant, like a minority, this and that, and the third, like still pushing through, still making it happen, graduating school, getting an MBA, having a wife and kids, and still being, you know, motivated enough to challenge myself to be so, like, you know, like Will Smith, not the celebrity status, but just being a good father, being a good provider provider being a good husband all that stuff at least from what we can see right based on his content so anyways man that's my reaction y'all take it for what it is i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, i i hope to do more of these in the future maybe make it a little bit more um i don't know professional i guess this is my first reaction video so i, I appreciate your patience with the lack of production skills here uh, but needless to say man uh, go check out the, uh, the 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 song it's trending number two trending on youtube right now link in the description and of course i have some great content and other stuff that i want to share with you guys later down the road so make sure to subscribe smash that like button if you like my uh, my reaction if you didn't smash that like button anyway comment you suck or something i don't know whatever just uh, make sure to engage with this video and as always mi gente leave a legacy nico santana
That comes from real life. Right yeah, I told you this is my real life. I'm here, so I.